Today's Guide to Life is a Valentine's Day special and it's my first Valentine's Day with Mike after we got married so I'm a wife now and I need to cook food for him to make sure he stays faithful to me you know a regular blowjob and regular cooking that's the key to keeping your husband and today I'm gonna be making uh, four dishes a soup, chicken dish, prawns dish and broccoli. I'm not sure if Mike likes that kind of food because whatever I cook, he always says it's very nice. Very smart, right? Yeah, so I'm just gonna cook it and he has to suck it up and eat it anyway. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's nice. Lah. I cooked all these many times before already. The first dish I'm gonna make is called ABC soup and I'm sure you have heard of it because it's very popular. Cause and I think it's called ABC soup because it's very easy or either that or it has vitamin A, B and C. I don't know which one, okay? But I think it's as easy as ABC because all you need is some onions and carrots which I've chopped up into very small pieces so that they will boil easier and potatoes which I have yet to skin and some pork which is already in the sink. So okay, let's get started. I am just boiling the water. And I'm going to put the pork in soon after I take them out of the packaging and give them a wash. I'm not even sure if it needs to be washed, but I'll just wash it first in case people start critiquing me again. I'm going to lower it into the pot here. Next, I'm going to put in a liberal amount of soy sauce. Okay, I think about alright for now. And a little bit of chicken stock. I don't know how much that is. I guess you stop after a split second. I will let the pork bones boil for a bit because after a while they will have like gross stuff on the top and which I have to skim off. See all this like gross stuff on the top? I'm gonna take it out. I have no words to describe this except for the broken like Chinese that my, my grandmother uses. It's the dirt of the pig. The dirty blood of the pig. It's actually starting to look pretty yummy. So I'm gonna prepare the chicken now while this is cooking. I tried to find chicken wings because I prefer wings, but the supermarket ran out of it, so I only have drumlets. Uh, to my displeasure. They look so gross raw. The sauces are oyster sauce. I'm gonna put a liberal amount of this also. Dark soy sauce. Sweet sauce. How much to put? Uh? I don't know, I guess you just um, have to have this like chef thing like me to know. No, uh, seriously, experience will tell you how much. Just for a good amount. Uh, if it's too salty, add more water. Uh, then throw away some of the sauce. Uh? Clever, right? Quill eggs. I guess it's quill eggs and not normal eggs because <laughs> normal eggs will be too big and it's kind of cruel to put it in with its mother. The other thing you need to put in is the mushrooms, so I'm going to cut them up now. I choose shiitake mushrooms because they are my favourite and actually Mike prefers butter mushrooms, but that is a Amor mushroom and not a Asian mushroom, so I refuse to use it. I know, I don't have Asian hair, but that's not the point. We are talking about food here. Okay. I am going to let these two things cook. I will draw a picture of a robot on the card because he likes robots. And the most famous robot of all time is Wally. Okay, I'll draw Wally on the card. I'm gonna draw this because this is exactly like me and Mike. I'm so sleek and beautiful and futuristic and he's la <laughs> pop pop <laughs> and geeky. Okay, I'm done with the pencil drawing of Wally. Eve looks like a dustbin. I can't read it. I'm just gonna write to the best husband. Happy Valentine's Day 2011. Easy, sincere, and lazy. I think actually Mike is a pretty good husband. Got quite a good catch. That day I asked him, why are you doing the laundry? The maid's coming tomorrow. He said, because I like doing it, it's therapeutic. <laughs> who the hell has a husband who likes doing the laundry? So stupid to tell me so. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Mm. From then on, I never did any laundry. So, my laundry is done by him and the maid. 
Now the chicken is almost done. Uh, the sauce is still kind of watery but it's starting to stick to the pot. So I'm going to just take out the chicken and let the sauce boil a bit more. Okay, you can't tell but it smells very good. All those chef cooking shows, they always praise their own food, alright? So, yeah. Beautiful, just beautiful. That was my attempt at a French accent. Okay, one dish is done. And I think we can proceed to cook the prawns and the broccoli now. Now I'm going to cut off the head of the, I mean half la, of the head of the prawn because I don't like seeing the eye and I don't like the stupid whiskers thing. It looks very gross like a cockroach. You know what the ironic thing is? Like cooking is supposed to be like, you know, great for your marriage and shit. But after that you smell like dead prawns. Who wanna have sex with you? So now I'm gonna fry the garlic. And I'm gonna use a lot, a lot of garlic because Mike likes a lot of garlic. And the wine. Add in a pinch of salt. Okay. I'm going to cut some carrots for the broccoli here. And I'm going to do a very like nice day, I think, which is to cut it into a heart shape. So very simple, like, you just cut like this. Ta-da! Yes, I know, African kids are starving and I'm wasting bits of carrot. Just a little bit of oil. Mix well and put this thing over it. My mother told me that like broccoli is actually the same freaking plant as Skyland. And I wouldn't believe her and I went to Google and it turns out it's true. The broccoli is a flower! And it's the ugliest damn flower ever because it's green. Whoa, they look yummy. I have my soup in a bowl that looks like a aquarium of dead things. Dead yummy things. And then my broccoli, which is healthy. That's good. Healthy lifestyle, yay. And my chicken. And a touch of seafood with wine. And the setup is his rice, my rice. I'm sitting here because I'm right-handed. He's sitting here because he's left-handed. And individual uh, bowls for our soups and an extra paper plate for the bones I'm not gonna like use normal plates for the rice cause it's, I can't be bothered to go and wash it so I guess now I'm ready I'm gonna ask Mike to come out of the room to come and eat BABY! I'm too tired to eat your poor wife is exhausted beyond words can I feed you then? no so how okay you okay go ahead and eat okay try the chicken don't take the quail. egg! I want some quail. Eat the chicken. That's the star. I can eat the quail eggs. Chicken's good too. Okay, good. Very nice. The thing is, it's that one. Because everything has been cooked like a million times before. I mean, all good. Okay, I got a gift for you. Wanna guess what it is? Is it a rabbit? No. Is it a cat? I have no idea. Something that you like. Something that I like? Mm. Is it a spaceship? Close. Let me see. No, you guessed. I really have no idea. No, something that you really, really like. Is it your ass? No. <laughs> something that you like. Close to a spaceship, close. Boobs? How is boobs close to... Oh, they're close to conical? I don't know. It's a robot. <laughs> Nice. Is that Wally? -E, is it? Yes. What do you mean? Is that Wally? -E? Obviously, it's Wally. -E. It looks a little bit what like the guy from Short Circuit, you know. Never saw it. No. no. And inside is a very touching message. Oh, so nice, baby. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> very touching, right? Oh, yes, very touching. And the meal is so nice, and I got a card. So lucky, huh? Hmm. Then what do, do I, I get? get a, do I get a kiss too? No, you do should I kiss you me. A kiss yes. A kiss? So I gave you such a nice present, what are you going to give me? I think it's something more interesting than me. That. Another diamond ring? Easy? Yeah, sure, sure. Got that on camera, right? So I hope you like the recipes that I've shared. Um, yeah, to all the Guide to Life viewers out there, happy Valentine's Day from me and Mike. Bye!